Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Crafting and today what I'm going to be doing is having a go at neurographic art. Now this is a mindfulness type of art and to be honest I've been doing this type of thing for quite a long time but I stumbled upon it on Skillshare and I really really found it interesting and I loved how some of the pictures have come out so I thought I would give it a go and share it with you. If you're interested in learning how to do this in more depth and understanding more about this then what you can do is you can find it on Skillshare and if you're not a member of Skillshare it's a brilliant site. I'll put a link to Skillshare down below because it is free you don't need to be a member. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take a marker and for three seconds you doodle really I suppose with loops and different things and you put three lines in so you start at the edge of the paper and this pen is getting a bit old but I don't mind it could be the paper and then there's your three seconds now you never finish off in the middle you always finish off at the end so you never have a bit that's spare and you put three lines in there so I'm gonna go here two three and then possibly I'm going to go one, two, three. So that's those lines. And then what you can do afterwards, you can put some more lines in it. But these ones don't have to be in three seconds. But they do have to start and finish at the edge of a page. And this is where you can add some more bits to it if you want to and all the while you're meant to be while you're doing this you're meant to be thinking about maybe something that's great in your life that you really enjoy so i am going to put another line in here that goes all the way around so there i quite like that line and then i think i'm going to do another one that goes across here like that and one more here yeah and that'll be enough for me I think I'm quite pleased with that and then what you do is you take a pen either the same pen or if you want to do it a smaller pen and then you, anywhere there's like a corner, for instance, that I would consider that to be a corner, you then smooth that out. And so there's one there. I smooth that one out. There's one there. And you smooth those out. And if you want to thicken up your lines now and go round it again, if I go round it slower with this pen, I'm going to get a much more solid line and if I want to smooth that out all I need to do is take a thinner pen and these are permanent markers I'm using here then you just smooth those off like that so you've got no sharp corners and you just go around the whole thing and you do that so I'm going to take that sharp corner out there that one there and because my lines are already made, I will go over them with my black pen again and make them a little bit heavier. Oh, look, I missed one there. And then once I've got all these done, I'll show you what it looks like. I've finished filling them in now, so I hopefully I've got no sharp corners, although I probably will come across ones I've missed. And then the next stage is you colour it in. Now, I have to say, while I was filling that in, I was really quite relaxed and I was enjoying it. Now, you can use whatever you like to colour it in. You should choose three colours that you want to use and just put them around randomly wherever you want to put them. Now, I'm going to be using these Arteza watercolour brushes because I really like them. And you can get some lovely different tones with them by using some water or by wetting the page first. And if you don't want to do that and you want a nice deep colour, then you can just go over them fairly neat as well. And because we've used a waterproof marker to do the lines with, you're not going to get any bleed from that black marker pen. And really, honestly, it's a great way to relax and just chill out and feel grateful for what you've got, to be honest. And if you want to just do a little bit of water on somewhere and, and flood them out a little bit and get some different tones, then you can always dip your brush into some water. I've used these brushes before um, and I think they're brilliant. They're so easy to use. 
kind of do all the work for you, which is great. So I've chosen yellow, a yellow, a purple, and a red. So for instance, I'm going to do the other half of this circle red. But what I'm going to do first, actually, is just put some water down on here damp that paper first and this is a multimedia paper that i've used and i will link it in the description below there are quite a few courses on skillshare that will show you how to do this and give you the background of it as well and also i i mean i'm learning <laughs> believe it or not i'm learning to knit and i'll be showing that in a video coming up soon i can't knit because my knitting for some reason is so tight that I end up can't move the needles and I learned that through Skillshare as well and it, honestly the free version of Skillshare is excellent so you lose nothing by signing up and the link is in the description and I'll also put it in the comments as well so it's easier to find so that's covered that quite nicely in that red but if you want to wash that out a little bit here then you can just do that and move it around. If you want to use the Spectrum Noir pens, you could for this. Yeah, gives it a bit of texture. And then maybe the purple I'm going to do. Or maybe I'll do this bit, whole bit here in purple. Wet this down a little bit first. This paper. I tell you, I think you'll be extremely surprised Yay! at how well this comes out and what it looks like in the end. I think it's it's the softening off of the edges and the thickening of lines in different places that really do make it come out looking great. So that should be fine. I'll let that dry off a second and then I'll go through with the purple. And I know what colours these are because they all the Arteza pens, they put the colours on them, which makes a real big difference. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off, and then I'll show you what it looks like all finished. As you can see, I've finished doing that now, and that took me about two hours to do it from start to finish, and it was such a relaxing two hours. I kind of just cleared my mind. I feel really good and quite invigorated to get on with some other stuff now, and I just listened to some really great music while I was colouring this in. It just goes to show... You never know what skill you're going to learn or enjoy when you join Skillshare. So check out the link below and, you know, sign up for a free account. It's absolutely worth it. And if you sign up through my link, I really appreciate it. Don't cost you anything and you'll get loads out of it. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you've done this before, Neurographics, I would be really interested to know what you think and how many you've done before. Please boot that like button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And hit that subscribe button. Take care. Enjoy your crafting. Bye.